And Bobby Wilder is the only coach the ODU community has known for the last decade. Sports reporter Connor Rio went to campus to find out how people are reacting to the news. Here today, no long faces, Nicole, do not make me cry. Well, it's only fitting that the ODU skies are a little gray on the day the most positive man on campus announced his departure after 13 years. And with that announcement come some things everyone can agree on. A little surprised. Shocked. Definitely shocked. I was honestly shocked by news. Shocked. I thought he'd have one more year. Really surprised that he resigned. And some they can't. Yeah, I've supported signing down. He's and done yeah. everything. There's no comparison. I feel like he should have got a little bit more time to develop the program. Um, but I think it's definitely going to be good for the team. He already only had two years left on his contract, so what's one more year? Um, a new coach might help, but it's not just the coach. It's the players as well. He's been here from the very beginning. He's like built the program from like nothing, and so I think he, I would have given him another year. And while Bobby Wilder will no longer be delivering play designs and press conferences, the memories he brought aren't going anywhere. I remember my freshman year here, my first year here, I attended a football game and it was it was pretty memorable. The thing I remember is when they beat Virginia Tech. Yeah, it was probably one of the craziest nights I've ever seen. We beat Tech at home. That was an electric environment. And if the second head coach in program history can maintain the first positivity. I live by a phrase, PMA, all day, every day, positive mental attitude. And perhaps there are sunnier days ahead yet. For me personally, I love this school. I love the community. And I think he did a really great job of representing us. In Norfolk, I'm Connor Real, 13 News Now.